Schooled with Geeks on Tour and author of Mrs. Geek's Guide to Google Photos. If you're like a lot of people, you might have gotten a brand new shiny phone for Christmas. And what do you do with the pictures that are on your old phone? I have here a the white old iPhone 6 with a cracked screen. For Christmas, I got a brand new shiny jet black iPhone 7. Before you get rid of your old phone, there's two things you need to do to make sure that your Google Photos is going to work on your new phone. Number one, you need to make sure that all the photos that you took with this phone were backed up to your Google Photos in the cloud. And number two, you need to know what account was being used for that. So this is my old iPhone, and before I turn it in or wipe it out in favor of my new iPhone, I need to check to see that my photos have been backed up. Now, let's do that. I'm not talking about using this Photos. This is the Apple Photos app that comes with the device. I'm talking about using the Google Photos down here. So we tap on that, and here are all our photos. Let me show you. I do have a few hundred. It goes back to 2013. But look at these very top ones. These are pictures that I just took this morning of our cute little tree and fireplace. And the cloud with the line through it means that these are not backed up. I am viewing the photos that are on the device. The camera on this phone took those pictures. So why are they not backed up? Well, one thing we can do is take a look at the assistant. So I tap on assistant and it tells us that backup and sync is off. Ah, so that's why. I'm just going to turn it on and now take a look at our photos and look at that circular arrow. That also tells me that they're not backing up, but see how it's spinning? They are in process and as soon as the spinning finishes you get a little cloud with a check mark, but it goes away. Now I know that those photos are backed up. And if I go look at the assistant, it tells me backup complete. That makes me feel good. The second thing I need to check before turning in this phone is where are those photos being backed up? What account is being used? The only way to know for sure is to look in the settings. So I tap on the three line menu and settings and back up and sync and it says that it is being backed up to got guest one at gmail that doesn't sound like me i have no idea why it got set up that way so it's a good thing that i looked and the the best way to know for sure that your photos have been backed up to your google account is to go to a computer and photos.google.com and here I see pictures, but I don't see those six pictures that I just took today. Now I know that I saw them backing up, that circular spinning arrow. They, I, but I'm not seeing them because this is not the same account. So this is the Chris account, and that was the Got Guest account. So I need to sign out of here and then add the account for Got guest. Now this is one of my accounts. You know, the problem is you can have too many Google accounts. Try, if possible, try having just one, then you won't have these issues. Now I go to photos. And there are my pictures. So the account is so important. So here is my brand new iPhone, the Jet Black 7 Plus, and I can show you there are no photos on this. If I use the Photos app that comes with it, no photos. But all I have to do is install Google Photos, tell it the proper account, and we're in business. So I go to the App Store, and I will search for Photos. There is Google Photos. I just need to get it by tapping on that little cloud. Let's see it on the home screen. So Google Photos has been downloaded and installed. I just tap on it to open it. 
and it has a few introductory screens. But what's this? It says no photos. That's probably because it's not set to the correct account. You just tap on the three line menu in the top and instead of going into settings, account that you're viewing is right up here at the top. So it says I'm viewing the Chris account and remember it was the got guest account. So I tap on that little down arrow and I have already set up that account on this phone so I just have to choose it. Now when I look at my pictures, they're all there. It's just a matter of making sure that Google Photos backed up the photos from your last phone and that you're using the same account that your last phone used.